Yo, what's up, everybody? We are kicking it off with another practice session. Today, we're going to focus on putting. Now, I'm not a very complicated guy when it comes to uh, what I do for putting. Um, it's very simple. Um, I use a sweet roll rail system. Um, I've been using this for about two and a half years. Uh, one of my other pro buddies, uh, Matt, put me on to this. And I just think it's one of the best underrated uh, training tools for learning how to read greens. And honestly, um, uh, read greens and predict your pace. Now, right now, I'm just kind of getting a spot where I like. I like to get putts to go down grain because in Florida, we do have a lot of grain. And if you're putting into the grain, the putts can oftentimes get very inconsistent, especially when you're uh, putting in Florida. So I like to get one going down grain, one that's pretty consistent. And today is very windy, so I'm trying to keep the conditions as favorable as possible, especially when I'm just I'm not really focused on making a, t uh, a bunch of different types of putts. I'm really just trying to focus on making one putt and seeing how repetitive I can be in a stroke. Now I've already got my line and my pace down packed. Now what I'm doing is I'm setting down two tees, kind of like a putting gate. So I wanna make sure that my putter goes back and through this putting gate on each and every single putt. Just a, uh, a great way to get instant feedback. And now what I'll do is uh, I'll roll the balls down the railing system um, and kind of stop them just before they go into the hole. So I have a visual of what the what the actual correct pace and correct line looks like that will put the ball in the center of the cup. And then from there, uh, with the ball still on the green, I'll take two tees and since and two tees and place them uh, just outside of the ball. Now, since today is very windy, I do like to give myself a bit of, uh, a bit of the benefit of the doubt so i'll space them a little bit wider but after we've set that up i'll roll them a couple more times just to make sure they go through the putting get uh, the gates and then we'll be off and putting So as I'm starting to roll a few putts here, you kind of get a visual of what it looks like behind me, maybe off to the side. Uh, the putt is downhill. It really doesn't have a lot of break. It's one of those putts that just kind of slides to the right because of the grain. It's not a very easy putt. You know, I've had a lot of, a uh, couple of my friends uh, try this drill with me and they honestly get very humbled. Especially when you pick up um, things where are, are you aligned properly? Are you making good ball contact all of these things play a favor in if you're going to hit a correct putt on the correct line with the right pace and uh, i think it's just a perfect way to really try to uh, fine tune your own putting stroke no matter how you put no matter how you grip and i've used the sweet roll rail system to uh, make more difficult putts uh, left to right right to left downhill uphill um, but I really always like to focus on pace. Line is a factor in when I put, but I really take a very aggressive approach when it comes to knowing the pace of the greens. And like I said, I've had friends try, and what they'll find is that, hey, a lot of times they'll get humbled. Um, this is not an easy drill, uh, especially for a lot of people who are line conscious all the time. You have to line it up, make sure everything is perfectly aligned. I'm, I'm not that way. I honestly think that pace is should take priority in all putts and the sweet rail uh, system, a uh, sweet roll railing system kind of confirms that. And as I'm on the other side or recording from the other side, you can kind of get a look at the putt and how it rolls. You can see how it takes to the grain and how it doesn't take to the grain. And this is one of the biggest reasons I like to use this system because I have a pretty consistent stroke. However, there are some deficiencies here and there. And as I looked at this video uh, when I was making this, um, I saw that you know those first six inches, I was kind of popping the ball up in the air. Uh, caught the ball on the upstroke, which creates loft. And I was wondering sometimes when I was putting, why did some putts take the grain? Why did some putts did not take the grain? And one thing when you'll notice when you're using the sweet roll rail system, the ball comes off at zero degrees 
every time. So if you're not putting or hitting your balls with zero degrees loft, they're not going to stay on line. And um, what you'll see in the next video as we go back down the line, I actually made the correction. And all it was for me is moving the ball just a little bit further back in my stance, not back towards the back foot, but more in the middle. And then this is where I saw that I was catching my putts more in the center of the face than also um, not adding loft. So as soon as the ball came off my putter, it was rolling at its most optimal um, potential. So as soon as I hit it, it's rolling. It's not popping up in the air. It's not skipping. And I started to make more consistent putts. Well, there you have it. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more information on the Sweet Roll Rail system, the link is listed in the description below. Talk to you guys soon.